According to the Inspector General of Police, Tansri Khalid Abu Bakr, the suspects comprised six locals and three foreigners aged between 17 and 56. Three of them are former armed forces personnel, while the rest comprise illegal VCD sellers, a factory worker and a heavy machine operator. Another suspect was unemployed. On the 17-year-old suspect nabbed in Sabah, Tansri Khalid said the teen had received instructions from a Malaysian involved in the IS in Syria to launch attacks in Malaysia. He added the suspect had planned to launch a lone wolf attack to kill non-Muslims in Sandakan and also threatened to kill the IGP in a Facebook posting. Tansri Khalid also said three of the foreigners who were nabbed in Kuala Lumpur on August 2nd were believed to have been using Malaysia as a transit point to obtain false travel documents. They were also planning to launch an attack in a Middle East country. Another 26-year-old suspect who was nabbed in Johor is a member of the same cell whose 23 members were nabbed in two special operations last month. The suspect was also involved in a plan to launch an attack on the federal police headquarters at Bukit Aman as well as the government complex in Putrajaya. All the suspects are being detained for suspicion of committing offences under the penal code and are being investigated according to procedures under the Security Offences Special Measures Act, SOSMA.